Hi, this is Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Eberts, I'd like to introduce you to our latest tool for After Effects, Edit Monkey. With Edit Monkey, we set out to make an intuitive, everyday, versatile script that would help designers and editors create motion graphics for longer projects, like presentations, lyric videos, subtitles, in-store displays and menus, or any other project that requires transitions of multiple animations over a period of time. I'm going to go over the basic concept of what Edit Monkey does when you click Do It. Let's go to a default build. If I double click on the master, it opens up a pre comp made of three comps, or as we call them, pages. These pages are the core of Edit Monkey. A page is made up of one or more layers that are grouped together. The hold setting dictates how long you want the layer to be stationary. If the layer isn't animating, that will be the length of the page. If the layer is animating or fading, the length of the page increases to accommodate the additional time allotted for the animation. That length is controlled by the speed setting. There's a number of possible combinations of animation expressions which can be applied to the beginning, end, or both of each layer in the page. If there are multiple layers, the length of the page will increase based on the offset settings. The timing of the in and out are controlled by markers on the master control. For recent versions of AE, you'll have split markers for separate controls of the in and the out. You can slide these around to adjust the timing within a page. Also, all layers are parented to the master control layer so you can move them as a group or unshy the comp and move them separately. Once a series of pages are generated, they are sequenced in the master based on the sequencer settings. With this system, you can create and sequence dozens of pages of animated text, video, or graphics in seconds. The UI is made up of three basic sections, the text panel, the left side, which mainly controls the timing, and the right side, which deals with animation inside the pages themselves. This is EditMonkey's built-in text generator. The font size, color spacing, and layout are all controlled by the native character and paragraph windows in After Effects. This panel itself is pretty straightforward. Just type in your text or paste it and skip a line whenever you want a page break. You can break the text into letters, words, or lines. There's a different key command for each of these three text break types. If you click on the star button, it'll list these key commands that allow you to connect some of the text. If you're working with letters, square brackets will combine all the letters within them into one group. If you're set to words, the pipe key will combine words on either side of it into a single group. And lastly, if you're working in lines, curly brackets will combine all the lines within them into one group. Below that on the left side are the controls that mainly deal with the timing and the contents of the page. The first is the source. You can either choose text panel or layers. If you select layers, then each single layer in the timeline will be placed in its own page. EditMonkey does not recognize cameras, lights, nulls, adjustment layers, parented layers, locked or shied layers, and won't include them in the build. If you check the color label aware box, then all the layers with the same color label will be placed in the same page in the order they appear in the stack. This is how you can animate multiple layers within the same graphic. To make layers the same color label, just select the ones that you want to group together in the timeline and click the little color box next to them and pick a color. The colors are arbitrary, so any will do. Then select another group and repeat the process. Hold. This is the basis for the overall timing of each page. It controls how long a period of time separates the in and the out animation for each layer within a page. You have three options, constant, random, and off. The min-max setting are set in frames, by the way. If you choose random, each page will be randomly assigned a hold between the min and max setting, but all the layers within a page will share the same hold amount. Off will give you no hold, so each layer animates in and out without stopping. The sequencer dictates how the pages are aligned in the timeline. If a sequencer is off, all the pages will start at frame zero. On will sequence them end to end. The overlap settings will give you pages that begin before the previous one ends. The amount of overlap is based on the animation speed. So if the animation lasts 30 frames, then a full overlap will be 30 frames. You can always override it after the build, by moving the pages around manually or use the built-in sequence layers function in After Effects. Page order. 
This only applies to layers and it controls which layers, or if you have color aware on, which groups of layers gets placed in which pages. You have your choice of default, which will put the top layer in the first page, reverse, which will put it in the last page, or shuffle, which will mix them all up. The next batch of checkboxes are mainly timing controls. Retime pages are defaulted to on. When active, all the pages will be pre comped together and time remapped keyframes will be placed at the start of each page. These keyframes are controlled by markers on the Edit Monkey retime layer. You can easily adjust the timing by sliding the markers around. This will stretch or squeeze the timings of the pages, which might be fine for graphics but may not work well for video, which you don't want to speed up or slow down, so you can turn retime off in those cases. If it is off, it'll leave the pages inside the master comp. If you unshy them, you can slide them around manually. By the way, you'll notice adjustment layers between the layers within the pages and the pages themselves. This is to kill 3D intersections. If for some reason you want 3D intersections, you can just unlock and delete those. Marker Sync. This is one of our favorite features. This is where you can automatically time your edit so you can easily sync to music or VO. If you know any of our other monkeys, you'll be familiar with this. I'll repost a section about it at the end as a reminder. Randomized timing. This is also only active when Edit Monkey detects video or pre comps in your layer stack. When it places them in a page, it'll move the start point around to add some automatic variety to your edit. Lastly is the color palette control. This is defaulted to off. If you activate the colors by clicking the checkbox or the color boxes to select a color, It'll apply a single color fill to all the layers in a page and cycle through all the colors assigned in that section. You can have up to five colors for each build. Animation. This controls the two sections below it, the motion in and motion out sections. If automatic is selected, it'll deactivate the motion out section. All you need to do is select a motion in, Edit Monkey will match a move out that naturally continues the motion, direction, and style. This will save you a ton of time and gives you nice results very quickly. If custom is selected, the motion out is activated. Now you have more control and can specify different settings to the motion, direction, and style out. Off will deactivate both motion in and motion out. Uh, the upshot of this is that only hold is applied. Each layer will simply cut on and off in the master. This is a good way to do simple edits. Keep in mind that each motion section can be individually turned off as well. The difference between that and turning both off in the animation section is that you have individual controls over which you turn off and fade will still be an option even if you turn that section off. The two motion sections are identical. Briefly, they control the transformations that get assigned to the layers. They're pretty self-explanatory. The only thing you really have to know is that if you select random from any section, it'll assign one from that list to all the layers in that page. If you choose random by layer, then each layer in the page will be assigned a random selection. Choosing random by layer for any or all the dropdowns will give you an animation that has a lot more visual variety. Speed and intensity are the same as our other scripts. For the specs, check the user manual. Remember, you can always speed up or slow down moves using the retime layer too. Layer order will control the order each layer will animate on within a page. And lastly, layer offset is the time between markers within each page. The more layers, the longer the offset, the longer the page will be. That's a brief overview of Edit Monkey. You can download a free trial on AE Scripts and play around with it yourself. From Dan Eberts, this is Oren Zucker. Have fun with your new monkey. The purpose of the Marker Sync checkbox is to tell TypeMonkey to align the markers with an existing marker layer. Marker Sync is perfect in case you've spent time adjusting the timing markers but need to rebuild for some reason. Each marker will sync up with its corresponding marker sequentially. If you don't have enough markers on the guide layer, TypeMonkey will refuse to build the composition. It's no problem to have too many markers on the guide layer, you just can't have not enough. 
Also, there's a few audio to marker scripts out there that will lay down a marker at every beat or several beats. These are amazing for automatically syncing music to your kinetic type.